Good evening, everybody, and welcome to AMA with DNK. Thank you so much for joining me tonight on Saturday Night Live Stream, episode number twenty-eight: Smart Sales Channels and Sales Strategies for Startup. For all those who do not know me, my name is Dil Nawaz Khan, founder of Codesign Labs and Power Deck. And before we jump right into the session, don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel if you haven't done so far. All right. So make sure you like the video, you subscribe the channel, and you also keep on asking your questions in chat. If you do not follow me on other social media networks, make sure you go and follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. My handle is running in the my handle is uh, running running in the ticker below. And if you're watching it live. and if you excited for the session make sure you drop excited your your drop you you drop boom or you utilize the live chat well make sure you keep on commenting in the live chat and most important importantly if you're watching it later on sometime maybe later on make sure you also drop your comment with hashtag team replay and let me know that you're somebody who's a replay watcher all right uh and as i've already said make sure that you post your questions in the live chat so let's begin ladies and gentlemen and i'm super excited as i said for today's session tonight i am going to be as and, and as, as you can see on the screen i'm going to talk about sales smart sales channels and sales strategy for startup and tonight i'm going to cover and talk about five core most important things we'll talk about what is sales we're going to talk about importance of sales for you as an entrepreneur we're going to talk about what are the traditional and conventional method of sales we're going to talk about what are the modern methods of sales and in the end i'm also going to give you a quick tips and tricks that will enable you to sell better sell more trust me this is not going to be any kind of a spammy content or something that enables you to do a spam this is going to be practical advice from my side to all those who are watching tonight all those founders startup founders entrepreneurs businessmen everybody who is struggling to generate sales for their business so ladies and gentlemen let's begin tonight we're going to talk about sales and smart sales sales channels and sales strategies for startup so let's begin guys so my first question to all of you is what comes to your mind when you heard the word sales and i have a couple of exciting photographs for all of you right so what comes to your mind i'll tell you what comes to your mind something like this and if i may increase my screen size when i say the word sales either you get this image in your mind or maybe something like this like a sari salesman trying to pitch you or push you or push you to buy some product or maybe the the most famous wolf of wall, wall street leonardo caprio right and this is the classical sales pitch sell me this pen this is something that comes to your mind all right so no matter what picture you get in your mind when you are selling right you my friend need to understand that sales is one of the most essential skill set that an entrepreneur needs to have you cannot be an entrepreneur without knowing learning how to sell and when i am saying this thing i do not mean you to be a irritating pushy salesman i'm talking about smart modern methodic methodical analytical modern strategies of sales and that is what i'm going to tell you that is what I'm, what i'm going to teach you tonight most of that comes from my experience and a few of the things that are the best practices happening in the industry all right and as i said if you're watching me live make sure you utilize the time well you make sure you ask your questions in the live chat right so as i've already said sales is one of the most important skills Uh, or or rather one of the most important skill that an entrepreneur needs to have so what are the other skills that you as an entrepreneur need to have the other skills i will talk in the next session so the next session that i'm going to do will be on uh, the important skill sets that you need to have in as, as an entrepreneur but tonight we are going to focus on sales so so sales is so also you need to understand that sales is not limited to a product or service and what do i mean by that when you are an entrepreneur or even when you are a person or a human being you are always selling so let's understand when do entrepreneurs sell if not 
while selling the product or the service. Entrepreneurs sell when they pitch to investors. When you go for a pitch, when you go to investors, you go and pitch them that they that, that, that you want them to fund your company. Basically, ultimately, you're trying to sell yourself as an entrepreneur. You're, you're trying to sell the business. When you go and pitch to investors, you are technically selling them. Second, most important, when you go and pitch to your founders or co-founders, when you go to somebody and tell them that, hey, this is the vision that I have. And would you be interested in building this company with me? Would you be interested in coming and working with me and building this company? You are technically in the process of sales, right? And third and most important, when you go and pitch to your potential employees to come and work with you, right? Especially in the early stages when you are not recognized by anybody. Why would somebody leave a fancy big company for you? And why would somebody come and work for a small startup like you? When you go and pitch to uh, your potential employees, you are technically in the process of sales. So quickly repeating, three areas or three things other than the services and the product, and I'm going to cover that in detail tonight. When you are selling, when you go and pitch to investors, that is the time, time when you're selling. When you go and tell your vision to the co-founder or the founders or the other members of the company whom you want to bring on the table, especially at a core or the very, very early stage, that is when you're selling. And also, most importantly, in the early initial stages, when you go and pitch to potential employees, especially for the core team, that is when you're selling. But also, in fact, if you are a student or an employee, when you go for interview, my friends, you are technically selling yourself. Sales is a very, very, very integral part of who we are as a human being. If you are not selling or if you do not know how to sell, Forget whether you are an entrepreneur or not. Even if you are as a person, you are if you if you don't know how to sell, you are in deep trouble, my friend. So right from convincing somebody to proposing somebody, you are selling, right? And if you agree with me on this, drop a comment and let me know that if you agree. And if you, as I said, if you're watching it later on, make sure you comment back and let me know what do you like in this video, right? So understand no matter who you are no matter what position you are in no matter whether you are an employee or a startup founder or an employer or a put or a, or a student you are always selling right from landing in a great job to getting the partner of your dreams or building the company and getting the funding you are always selling so sales is is if i have to summarize the characteristics of sale in three parts sales is it's part persuasion it's the art of persuasion so identifying the right prospect and then going after them and pursuing them sales is part persuasion second sales is part negotiation if you do not know how to negotiate on the table and if you do not know how to negotiate and come on the middle ground you cannot sell so part persuasion part negotiation but most importantly sales it is all about communication if you as a person cannot communicate if you do not know how to communicate well if you cannot transfer your ideas your vision your knowledge into the next person you are not a great salesman now as i said these are very very important things and very very important characteristics for all of you because for entrepreneurs without sales there is no business right and this is the reason why we say that sales is the oxygen for your business. If you cannot sell, my friends, there is no business at all, right? And your business will die. So forget all those people who are thinking of building a business on top of funding. That is all right. I have nothing against that. But if you as an entrepreneur cannot sell, I cannot emphasize it enough. Being an entrepreneur myself, being in the ecosystem for more than 10 years, if you cannot upsell, if you cannot cross sell, if you cannot identify a prospect and cannot sell, you don't have a business. All right. Now, as I said, let us look at a couple of conventional method of sales and let us understand whether do they work in the current scenario or in today's world or not. So what are the conventional method of sales, right? All of us have seen it multiple times. One of the conventional method of sales is cold calling and cold mailing, right? And I have personally seen so many people getting irritated or thinking that cold mailing and cold calling does not work, which is not correct. The reason why cold mailing and cold calling does not work in 2021 is because people think that it's a bulk kind of a thing. You just get a database of 10,000 people and send them the email or just simply call them and try and pitch, which is not correct. There's an art of cold mailing. There's an art of cold calling. And if you 
are able to correctly understand the needs and the demand and if you're correctly able to analyze what the next person needs and if you know the art of writing email well there's a there's a way a cold mail has to be written if that cold mail does not have a great introduction a great call to action to the point thing you will not convert i'm not sure how many of you follow my other podcast cracking the code but more than 70 to 80 percent of people who have come onto that podcast in fact this is something i spoke about in the mvp session as well most of the people who land on my podcast have been kind of brought in by pure and pure cold emailing and cold reach outs right in fact there's so many people who reach out to me right so when you're reaching out to people don't leave a leave a leave a comment by just just saying hi write exactly what you want don't leave things open ended that i need help help is very open ended so again this is not a session on cold mailing of course so i'm not going to go deep into it Maybe if you think uh, cold mailing and art of cold mailing and cold calling is important for you, let me know in the comment. I can do a dedicated session on it or make a make a dedicated video on it. But number one or the oldest traditional method is cold calling and cold mailing. And it works if done correctly. It will not work if you think uh, it's just like an activity and hit and, hit and, hit and uh, trial method. That will not work in that case. Second is, as I said, hit and try, spray and pray, right? You just bombard the information to everybody possible. You have random data. You just push that material or ra rather randomly try and calling people or write, write random emails. And then you just sit and pray and think that somebody will land up as a client to you. That does not work. Spray and pray is a different methodology altogether maybe uh, part marketing but spray and pray in sales do not work in 2021 anymore last but not least is push sales or seeking referrals if you think that you can simply because i said sales is persuasion but if you think that you can simply keep on pursuing people or other seek re random referrals and reach out to people you will not be able to sell right so quickly repeating this part as i said the conventional method of sales or what in general people used to see in sales is that Conventionally, people used to do cold mailing, cold mailing and cold calling. People used to hit, hit and people used to do something called a hit and uh, uh, hit and try or other spray and pray. And most importantly, push sales or referral marketing. There are modern, advanced methods through which you can achieve this, especially cold mailing cold, and cold selling. But traditional methods do not work anymore, and this is the reason why you as an entrepreneur need to learn how to do modern sales or understand how sales work. See another reason why. You need to understand sales if an entrepreneur is. Let me tell you and, and give me a reaction or comment back if you think what I'm telling you is useful. Is because we always all, all already live in the in the in the in the world of information overload. If you are an entrepreneur, you have WhatsApp coming in and you have then Telegram and Signal coming in. You have mails coming in. You have social media distraction happening, and you have. Then you have phone phone coming in and SMS. There's so many multiple sources of information that kind of ping us on a daily basis, right? So therefore, the overall attention span has, has any which has gone down. If you think that, uh, you know, you write an email to somebody which is not of relevant, people hardly put in 10 seconds to kind of go through that email so therefore because of the so because of so much noise on social media and in general otherwise and so much of work pressure and other things it is becoming difficult to reach out to people in order of in terms of sales therefore spray and pray referrals push sales do not work anymore you will have to no matter what learn the modern and the latest art of sales therefore it becomes very very important so also another point you need to understand if i if i can if i want to conclude this part sales is not marketing a lot of people have this misconception and they think that sales is marketing, which is not the case. Sales is different. Marketing is different. Marketing is primarily understanding the requirement of the market and then putting your product out there so that people can be made aware. Sales is transaction, my friends. If you cannot transact on the table, you are not doing sales. Do not confuse yourself with sales and marketing. I meet a lot of entrepreneurs who confuse themselves or who think that sales and marketing is the same thing, which is not the case. Sales and marketing are two separate different activities 
And although 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 sales and marketing as a term go together hand in hand, and you cannot do one without another, you need to do sales in order to sorry you need to do marketing in order to get sales. You need to get do sales in order to get fund for the marketing. But both of them are separate activities with certain overlaps. But sales is transaction. Sales is not marketing. If you think you will only do marketing and that is how sales will happen, you are wrong, my friend. As I said, sales is. transaction if you are not transacting you are not doing sales if a sales is not spray and pray sales is rather laser focus sniper technique where you identify a prospect and understand everything about them and go after them all right now as i said let us now understand how sales in today's world work and why it is not working out for you because again i said the conventional the traditional methods do not work anymore if you are an entrepreneur you need to understand how sales happen in today's world and why maybe what are the reasons why you are failing at doing all this all right so one most importantly do not sell to everyone right most of the times i've seen people or early stage entrepreneurs young entrepreneurs trying to sell to every possible person right now you need to understand and i've spoken about this multiple times people do not buy products people buy solution to their problems delivered by your product and let me now spend a few minutes explaining this statement to you people never ever buy solution gone are the days gone are the times when people used to buy the product or the services people only and only buy solution if they do not have a problem they will not buy the solution so you as a sales person need to further go deep and understand whether whosoever you whosoever you are pitching whether that person even has a problem or not understanding data analytics understanding about the need and understanding the background and doing your research that therefore have become critical elementary skill set for any sales person and i'm repeating again and again you cannot just go and do traditional conventional sales as it used to happen like 10 years ago or 20 years ago right so people do not buy solutions to their uh, so sorry people do not buy products people technically buy solutions to their problem delivered by your product now look at the next line which is very very interesting which means product is just a tool product or service is just a tool it's a tool that enables you to solve the problem people do not pay you for the tool people pay you when you remove their pain point and when you remove their point pain point the bigger the pain point is the higher the value creation the higher the value creation the more you can charge and the more you can be be price it at that point in time right so therefore understand people don't sell to everyone people don't buy products people buy solutions to the problems delivered by your product and your product is just a tool all right number one point number two identify and understand why people sorry there's a mistake it's not why people why it's why people buy and why not a lot of times and a lot of startup guys will tell you that uh, you know identify a set of people go after them and figure out whether they want to buy or not and then of course pivot and change the customer profiling but also as an entrepreneur you to, you need to understand why a few people buy your product and why a few people do not buy your product a lot of times you will see that a lot of times people whom you think do not buy your product or are not the correct customer persona or not the correct fit, fit for your product will come and buy your product therefore as an entrepreneur as a, as, a, as an entrepreneur at an early stage you need to figure out and analyze and understand everything which tells you that why somebody is buying your product and why somebody is not buying your product so gather intelligence gather analytics and this is beyond the customer survey or validation if you have been following my channel guys i did two detailed videos on these two topics i did a video on how to think of an idea and maybe validate and another video was on how to acquire first 100 customers if you haven't watched those two videos make sure you go and watch those two videos but most importantly you need to also have a lot of understanding and analytics and you need to understand why people buy your product and why they do not buy your product and last and not the least and the third and most important part business development instead of sales in tradition in terms of traditional sales right so you as an entrepreneur need to now do business development now what do I, what do i mean by business development business development is basically a holistic process we do not only just go and push your product or service to the next person but you technically create 
a funnel of people who are potential buyers and but but before you even start pitching them you make sure you are doing all the research about those guys i'm not sure how many of you still get call from uh, you know a uh, lot of companies who want to sell your product sell, sell their product to you without even or rather credit card companies for that matter or insurance companies for that matter without they figuring out whether you need the product or not and this is the problem especially in india right because because the labor is so cheap that we simply dump the database on top of people and say ask them to call 500 people in a day or 100 100 people in a day which is not the correct practice my friends the correct practice is for you who is listening to me tonight who is a uh, who is an entrepreneur somebody who is a who is a potential startup founder somebody who is a early stage startup founder learn the art of business development understand your client go and do all the background research figure out who they are figure out will they buy your product or not figure out whether they have a problem or not talk to them identify and then make sure whether your product is a correct fit or not and most importantly also even if that person is not buying right at least figure out why and why not again connecting the point number 2 right see the point i'm trying to make here, make here is and and before i jump on to the next part you need to do your research understand everything in detail understand the background of the person you're going to sell understand whether they need the product or not figure out maybe a product fit for that person right and then go and reach out to them and even if they decline maintain communication maintain the conversation and figure out that whether in some stage will it be a fit for them or not and as i said a lot of things will play a role your pricing your quality of service your fit everything will eventually play a bigger role out there so i'm sure you would have broadly understood the importance of sales by now you would have broadly understood the uh, uh the 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 older or the traditional sales methodologies but now let us understand what are the what are the modern sales channels and modern modern sales methods now why you need to understand is because as i said sales is of course one identifying who is going to buy but also most importantly if you do not know what is the channel the difference between uh, or, or rather the channel is basically the way you're going to reach out to them or communicate with them and there are a lot of modern sales channels that you need to understand as an entrepreneur so that you can reach out to the right person and all of these channels primarily will work for both b2b and b2c companies all right so they will work for both of those companies and uh, you know if if you are here tonight if you are somebody who is struggling with sales if you have any questions around sales if you want to kind of uh, you know if you have any questions up till uh, what i've explained to you already make sure you post your questions in the live chat and also Uh, if you have any questions about the modern sales channels and how will they be integrated in your business, let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. Let me know maybe a one line or two about your business, and then I can really go deep and answer your questions around sales. So, folks, let us now understand what are the modern sales channels and modern sales methodologies. All right. So, number one is direct to consumer. Right. India has not only uh multi million dollar companies but now multi billion dollar companies especially funded and big companies who are leveraging direct to consumer if you are somebody who aspire to do a startup if you are somebody who wants an idea in 2021 if you are somebody who's exploring a sector i have done two videos already one video was on business ideas for 2021 which i did a few rather technically maybe either mid december or early january i did this video where i spoke about what are the business ideas you can explore and most of the companies i picked up in this were direct to consumer companies now why do sorry why do uh, coming back on to this point why do direct to consumer companies work you need to understand the most the most of the direct to consumer companies work because of the internet advantage this would not have been possible 10 years uh, you know uh, before right for a very simple reason that now because of the internet penetration smartphone smartphone mobile penetration and in internet penetration you can go and sell to anybody so you can market anybody you can sell to anybody and because the overall marketing on the internet is cheaper and you can directly connect to your customer and even 
of the converted customer you can take the feedback from direct to consumer is a great 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 sales channel you can explore also very interestingly the logistics cost goes really down when you go into d2c right so if you look at the traditional conventional method of logistics you have a manufacturer and specifically specifically about, about physical products right you have a manufacturer you have then a distributor or a, or a national distributor from that it goes to regional distributor from there it goes to maybe wholesaler or the warehouse and then the retail guy and then the consumer so you're spending money at every point right so when i say direct to consumer i am not talking about mlm or pyramid schemes I am purely talking about e-commerce companies or direct to consumer companies or direct to customer companies, which are selling or leveraging internet direct channel and e-commerce to sell to their, to their customers. Companies like, for example, Mama Earth, companies, for example, Bombay Shaving Company, companies like Tree Trunk and Sleepy Owl. All of these are a perfect example. And in fact, most of them are, are pretty heavily funded and bad companies and pretty credible ones as well, right? Another another reason why you should consider D2C is this huge uh, in, in digital marketing thing that you can do. And if you're able to leverage that correctly, as I said, you can build direct connection with the consumer. And of course, e-commerce capabilities, fintech capabilities, payment capabilities, and overall the setup and the starting time is really, really quick. You don't have to create a distribution network or jump onto it. Of course, the uh, establishment of brand, the overall time to set up everything and make everything functional, overall time to make every, everything profitable will take time. But who said startup is an easy game, right? So, so the overall cost is less. The overall implementation time or getting started time is really, really less. So D2C is a great method to explore or a great channel to explore if you are an entrepreneur trying to start a company in 20 21 all right so make sure you read a, read a more read a little more about it explore it and even even if you are a b2b company you can leverage direct to consumers a lot of smart b2b companies who are now leveraging direct to consumer instead of traditional conventional sales methods right and as i said i've already spoken about a few companies and if you are somebody who's looking for ideas this is the video you should go back and watch and also most importantly once again a request to all of you who are watching if you haven't liked the video and subscribe the channel please make sure you do that all right now second method of sales in 2021 drop shipping and affiliate marketing right so i know uh, this is not technically affiliate marketing is not technically uh, uh, a sales method, but it's a great sales channel, right? So why you should consider drop shipping and affiliate marketing is number one. One of the very one of the reasons is the starting time and the overall cost you need to put in into the business is very very less. Now I don't know how many of you know about drop shipping already, and how many of you know about affiliate marketing already. And again, before I mention both of these things, I am my friends not talk not talking about all those scams that happen on the internet i'm not talking about all those shady websites i'm not talk talking about all those random websites that claim you to earn passive income i'm not talking about mlm schemes i'm not talking about pyramid schemes i'm talking about pure 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 sales channels pure hustle pure work and everything that helps you to build a legitimate brand. So there are a lot of companies that enable you to do drop shipping. Now, what is drop shipping? Drop shipping is very simply put, you as an entrepreneur, start a website, build a portal, get customers, but you are selling somebody else's product and you do not deliver that product. You technically only market those products and the delivery is, or the product manufacturing and delivering is happened from somebody else. Now, it's not a great startup method, but it's a great way to test and get into the business and get the get, get the ball rolling, right? So drop shipping is another great method or great sales channel. If you are a business watching this, you can also enable others to start drop shipping on your, your behalf. So it's not necessarily that you only start drop shipping. You can get on board other people who do who do drop shipping and you can always reach out to them that whether they'll be interested to maybe drop ship their drop ship your product and why do why would they do that they would be charging certain commissions so it's a little modified version of d2c it they, there's just one middleman or rather the the multiple middlemen but all of them get only a percentage when they sell something so drop shipping is a great method another great method is affiliate marketing right so affiliate marketing is very simple all of us have heard about flipkart affiliate marketing all of us have about, heard about amazon affiliate marketing mintra affiliate marketing in fact every biz, big business company every big company every big product company has a model of affiliate marketing so if you are somebody 
who wants to get into the affiliate in fact in fact technically if you see a lot of influencers are affiliates right so if i have let us say one lakh followers on my instagram what i'll do is i'll endorse a product and when i when i'm endorsing the product of course if the company is not paying me anything right to endorse the product i can create affiliate link and there's no harm in doing affiliate marketing if you're technically genuinely promoting the product which you use right so affiliate marketing is a great great method or a great sales channel that you as an entrepreneur can explain if you are somebody who is primarily in a b2c kind of a business product business low ticket size product affiliate marketing is a great 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 sales channel for you start thinking about it all right and last but not the least which is uh, sorry okay push sales and seeking referrals i think i i miss wrote that point it was something else but maybe during the presentation i think i missed that just a second guys uh i'm not sure what third would be so we'll skip that i think i think this is some some slight mistake in the presentation so moving ahead guys now let's talk about quick sales tips right these are a few sales tips that i think will work for you so if you are somebody who's a early stage startup founder trying to quickly get started these are a few tips that will work for you and trust me i have personally experienced a lot of big companies big giants not leveraging that these sales tips and techniques and i'm not go going to do any name calling here but they really suffer because of those conventional orthodox non user friendly sales tips so these are a the sales tips you can implement nothing rocket science very simply sim simply to simple to implement but please do not be rigid if especially if you are a early stage company and and i've seen lot of big companies going down because they were not flexible and they did not adapt in fact a lot of them are really irritating no name calling here right so first have free trials as i said no rocket science folks but have free trials i got a call from a company i was their client a few years back purely b2b marketing company you would have seen their ads on facebook you have seen their ads in cinema halls and a lot of other places no name calling but they have a extremely shitty sales process right because that company initially and now they claim they really sell great products but initially they the whatever service they used to sell used to really suck right and because of that a lot of people who were not satisfied with the services or who took the bet on them went away and but now they now when they're trying to get those people back on board they do not have a free trial mechanism my only uh, uh, problem with these guys is that they always go and tell them that please offer me a free trial and let me do a 5 day or a 3 day or a 10 day or a 15 day trial and if you are able to really satisfy me as a customer i will be more than happy to jump on board so make sure no matter who you are have some sort of pre free trial and this is the most effective i'd advise especially for the people who are building tech businesses saas businesses for that matter because in your case you will technically not be losing anything right so make sure you have a lot of free trials or something like a freemium that a lot of saas and modern technology businesses are leveraging but make sure you have some have have some sort of free trial happening second offer limited down time discounts make sure you're leveraging end of the month special occasions or any other place as limited time discounts right make sure if you think your potential customer thinks that your product product is highly priced or if your product has maybe a a barrier they don't want to pay you can offer them limited time discounts and make sure you at least, at least try your product so if you think let us say you cannot offer a free trial or if you are into a product with a, which is primarily consumable right so if you if you give it to somebody for free you are technically going to incur a huge cogs or huge cost right and if you do not understand the word cogs or another financial terms go back and refer to my financial video or the or where i have explained the terms uh, go to my channel all the videos are there guys make sure you like those videos as well and watch them they are very very informative make sure you watch all those videos so offer limited time discount and make sure you at least you're able to deliver high high and really huge value to all of those people right and last tip for the day last thing that i think all of you should do as a quick sales tip give referral bonus right and i am not again asking you to set up fraud referral schemes right you can genuinely reach out to the customers with whom you've worked both in the case of b2b and b2c right and create 
some sort of a referral bonus program where you are able to educate your customer and get the right person or the or get the right prospect from them and again i said it is going to be like a close knit relationship right so this is the third point quickly summarizing all three have free trials quick sales tip have free trials make sure if you're able to do it if you're not getting a huge cost make sure you're able to offer free trials offer limited time discount if you think you have huge cogs and third and most importantly give a referral bonus and these are the quick three sales tip now i will quickly jump on to concluding today's session and i also i got a few questions on instagram as well so i'll quickly open and answer those questions as well and then my friends we can wrap for the day so quickly let me answer the question that i received this question was and this is the reason i said if you haven't followed go and make sure you follow so there's a question from uh, varun and the question was i get inquiries from international prospects but i can't convert the lead to sale any guidance so i think guys this is one of the uh, you know uh, most common questions that a lot of people ask that they get a lead they get an inquiry they maybe rather get an international inquiry and they are not able to convert right so i'll at least tell you my personal experience with getting leads getting inquiries and then getting them converted right first of all uh, you need to understand and analyze what is the percentage of conversion happening in your case for example and and this is something which you need to understand in every business for example both of the businesses i do we are purely b2b businesses right and very recently i have launched the b2c product now which is called power cam right so in both the b2 b2b businesses code and labs and power deck and because the ticket size used to be at least beyond 30 40000 rupees per ticket right the conversion rate was less than 1% right so if i am getting 100 inquiries or rather if i am getting 1000 inquiries i will be able to convert less than 10 people in that case therefore you need to have a wider funnel right if you get one inquiry or two inquiries and if you're not able to convert them then it is a problem because you don't have a funnel wide enough and this when i say the funnel that means how many people see or how many people reach out to you so wider the funnel is for all of you and you need to see what is the then conversion ratio for example for any business right if the ticket size is low the conversion rate is higher if the if the ticket size is high the conversion conversion rate is really really lower second thing also as i have kind of spoken about it a bit already in the fashion that you also need to figure out and understand whether they would want your product whether they are great fit for you whether you and they can work together and also whether the price point is correct a lot of times people will come to you but they do not have that kind of a budget it's okay sometimes they don't have budget sometimes you are not able to fulfill the requirement sometimes it can be a service gap or anything but make sure make sure make sure that you are a fit to work together both from the budget point of view both from the requirement point of view if that is not a fit it will be a problem for you and last but not the least my friends the most important advice the three things that need to combine is when you are selling somebody your sales conviction your product quality and your price point all of these things need to have almost like a 70 80% overlap if you cannot if you if you as a sales person if you as an entrepreneur you're not convinced about your own product if you're not the consumer or the customer of your, of your own product and therefore the empathy kicks in if you do not have figured out that problem yourself if you do, if you haven't faced that problem yourself and if you cannot go out there and sell it with whole empathy and if you cannot correlate with the potential customer it will be really really difficult for you to sell it to somebody therefore you need to have a conviction yourself you need to have the overall overlap and therefore the need you also need to understand the need i think if you kind of work around all these tips you will be able to convert the uh, prospect in a better in a higher way right and and of course uh, last but not the least and i'm 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 quickly reading the chat uh, so first of all thank you so much for all those who have joined me tonight uh, make sure you like the video subscribe the channel and also turn on the bell icon guys we are doing this every saturday and very soon i'm going to start a dedicated video dedicated video series on pitch decks so uh, and 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 also make sure you help me spread the word by the way uh, today we crossed 1000 subscribers so thank you so much everyone who have been following me who have been already subscribed of the channel 
channel without you without you know without uh, uh, all of your all of your contribution and support and following this would not have been possible so i am deeply 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 thankful to each one of you who has been a part of the journey who have been following me who have subscribed to the channel who have maybe promoted it commented it, like the video i'm really really thankful and i and, I'm, and i hope i am able to give, give and deliver value to you via this platform so thank you so much and i and i really appreciate all of you being here i'm really really appreciate i really appreciate you following the channel subscribing the channel and make sure you spread the the word about it all right so concluding today's channel and i think uh, what a great uh, way to conclude this uh, learning while traveling is saying that uh, good communication skill is important of course very very important transfer of enthusiasm is equal sales of course very very important if you as an entrepreneur cannot put your enthusiasm and learning and you cannot communicate this to the prospect you will not be able to sell and also let me quickly read out the names of all of all those who joined thank you atul for joining thank you mukul thank you business developers i think they have a very interesting question as well uh, let me see if i can pick this up thank you for the session i would like to know the modern sales method in b2b segment special in it business solutions okay so i'll just pick i'll pick this question at the end it's a very interesting question thank you so much for, for asking the question keshav thank you so much for being here uh, learning while traveling thank you so much for being here harshit thank you so much for being here and also for your question for your for your all your pointers and yash thank you so much once again for being here so guys any of you have a, if you have any more questions please make sure you are asking your questions and then we'll move on to the concluding concluding once i answer this question so modern sales methods in b2b it business solutions so do things that don't scale this is my tip for it what do you mean by this see whosoever you are my friend you need to understand it business solution is a very 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 cloud crowded and clouded market what do we what do we mean by that crowded is because every second guy is a web developer is a graphic designer uh, is a is a it services guy is a coder is a back end developer is a front end developer is a, is a is a full stack developer so it services is extremely crowded another is clouded the reason why i'm saying the word clouded is because the client also does not have the correct information and therefore he is bound to trust the person sitting in front of him and this is the reason why and and, and also understand the entry barrier is very very low there are no checks and balances you cannot pursue law in this country without a correct license you cannot be a chartered accountant without a correct license you cannot be a doctor without a correct correct, correct license but you can be a coder you can be a startup mentor you can be a web developer you can be a graphic designer without all of these things now the problem with this thing is because there's no benchmark in fact a lot of companies have tried to do it in fact they've tried and rate they've tried and rate the b2b it companies but it is not successful it is very very important for especially you who's into such a clouded crowded low entry barrier market to create a lot of value for your customers so if you are somebody my advice to you would be number 1 start creating a lot of content start establishing credibility see the reason why i do these sessions is because when i come live with you i can also do recorded sessions right but when i come live with you this shows one consistency but most importantly credibility that i am somebody who is a subject expert i am somebody who is serious about startups i am somebody who know my stuff i am somebody who can answer your questions live and i am somebody who can be trusted right and of course it will take time it is not going to be easy but most importantly you will have to establish credibility in this clouded crowded market so make sure you start making a lot of content online you start talking about uh, you know publishing blogs you, you you make videos you make podcasts so that your potential client knows also second uh, thing when i say do things that don't scale figure out a niche you're really good at if you are a company that does everything then you don't do one thing well right so make sure there are one or two or three or five things that you do really really well if you say we are great at designs that's absolutely fine if you say we are great at uh, front end development be, make sure you are amazing at that if you say we are great at ui ux you can do that as well right but you cannot be somebody who is doing logo business communication php development and servers together right not at least until you are a company at a level of a tcs or a wipro or maybe a mid size it company with 100 or 50 employees it becomes really really difficult so if you are somebody who is into very early stage my advice would be to find a niche where you can really show expertise right do one thing do it like nobody else would do it provide the maximum value there right so make sure you make so number one advice make sure you create lot of content 
Okay. Second, make sure you establish your authority and expertise into one. Third and most important, make sure you make your price point, uh, you know, upfront to the to the people who are going to come to your, uh, want to come and avail your services. Right. What do I mean by that? By that I mean that when you do IT services, people would sell right from hundred rupees to ten lakh rupees. Right. The the bracket, the margin is too large, and the entire cost is purely dependent upon the manpower. So make sure you are able to figure out a price point so that even your customer or prospect knows that when he is coming to you and reaching out to you, he or she is the in the correct price point and you will then make sure you make sure that you are able to deliver him hell lot of value for that price yeah you know be 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 obsessed with the customer and i think these are the three things that will help you to refine now coming on to the sales methodology right other than all of these things that you do if you are selling to other businesses also make sure you define your niche for that business right if you again go and target every industry you do healthcare also you do real estate also you do fintech also you do agriculture also you do logistics also you will not be able to establish your authority into one sector right now again it's a dual edged sword the reason why i'm trying to tell you this is because let us say if you are working with win one real estate developer the other might not hire you because there's a conflict of interest but then who's stopping you from hiring one real estate guy in every city right because real estate is a physical thing so make sure you have a very very specific or rather two or three or five specific sectors you are great at if you are able to somehow do that you will again be able to establish your credibility in, into that sector show results and you will be able to you'll able to see sales conversions happening last point to conclude it all sales in b2b is time taking is slow Make sure your price point is correct and your funnel is large enough. If you think that you will be able to sell IT solutions to everybody for every price point for every industry, you will not be able to succeed, my friend. So I think these are my advice. This is what I can offer you for being somebody who's into purely B two B and IT business. Myself, codenlabs.com. Go and check that out. I think all of these advices should help you. Right. Jesh has a question, sir. What are your views on agriculture sector on B two B sales method methodologies? So, agriculture sector, Jesh, is a great sector to be to be in. If you look at the Indian context, if you look at the Indian scenario, uh, sectors like edutech because of the COVID and because of uh, uh, now people using so much internet, edtech is hot, healthcare is hot, agri partially because of food and health is hot. Right, so there are a lot of sectors. In fact, fintech fintech is hot ever, right? Because the entire backbone of everything when it comes to digital is fintech. So my first view or my first advice is agriculture is a really really hot sector. Make sure you stay in it. Now, when you come to B two B sales methodologies, I've seen a few startups failing because you also need to understand agriculture is kind of a traditional. Uh, business when it comes to India, and and we all have learnt our bit about uh, agriculture business because of the farm laws and whatever is, is going to is going is happening in the country, and we are now little more aware, I would say, right? So my advice is when you're selling B two B or when you're going for B two B agriculture sector, right? Make sure you really go and study whom are you selling again at what price point and what is the product market fit. Right. Uh, yes. Again, if you can elaborate a bit onto, you know, what is your what is your product? What is your product market fit? Whom are you going to sell? I think I'll be able to add more value. But you know, the only advice I can give you when you when you talk about agriculture sector, because a lot of people are uneducated, do not understand uh, the nuances. I think it sales in B two B for agriculture really becomes difficult if you are going to deal with farmers or the middlemen. So. That's why the failure rate is so high, and at least this is what I've experienced. So, if you can maybe elaborate and tell me what is exactly you're trying to sell, I think I'll be able to provide more value. Uh, business developers, another comment. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, your niche is cybersecurity solution. We are a cybersecurity company. So, if you are a cybersecurity company, primarily into the sector where you are uh, pitching to uh, other companies for. Giving them better solutions around cybersecurity. Uh, one, figure out your price point. Figure out whether they need your solution or not, and then create something called the product market fit. Right. Once you're able to create a a, a sweet spot between the uh, the problem they might have versus the uh, the, the 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 you know the 
price are going to pay you in order to avail the service uh you know equal it equal it or balance it out with the overall uh you know savings that can they have or maybe if something goes bad what are the, what are the, what is the kind of loss they're going to incur create a correct money equation out there if you're able to do that i can assure you you would be able to pitch to the right people and you'll be able to generate sales for your business all right guys so on that note before we hit the 60 minute mark uh you know let me quickly conclude today's session and once again my request to all of you if you haven't liked the video yet uh, make sure that you uh, go and like the video help me spread word about it subscribe to the channel and uh, yes make sure the next session is going to happen on next saturday we're going to talk about essential skills for entrepreneurs so make sure you attend that session because we're going to really go deep and we're going to talk about uh, you know at length about uh, you know communication and other skills you need to master as an entrepreneur right uh, so yeah so concluding the sales part uh, contract between farmers and manufacturing companies uh, yes again i didn't get what exactly what you, you mean contracts between farmers and manufacturing companies Do, are you saying you will enable the contract between farmers and manufacturing manufacturing companies if you are so does that mean you are a legal service provider or a legal company again i'm not sure exactly what you mean by this right uh so uh, nevertheless what you can do is once this, this video ends uh yash uh you can come back and write the entire detailed write-up in the comment section uh, of this video not the live chat and i will by tomorrow make sure i'm answering that in detail and all of those as i said if you have questions later on come back and uh, like, uh, sorry, uh, put your comments, put your questions into the chat and make sure you put up, you leave a, uh, a comment with hashtag team replay. If you watch this later on. All right. So on that note, guys, concluding today's session, once again, thank you so much for joining me tonight on this Saturday night live stream, uh, aim with DNK episode number 28, smart sales channels and sales strategies. I am sure this was of value to you. If you liked what I did come back, comment, and help me spread a word about it. Uh, you are my consumers. You are my customers. Your word matters the most. And if you think this was of any value, please make sure you leave a comment after the video and make sure you leave uh, or share it with your friends. Uh, concluding everything, sales is very, very important. Learn how to sell. If you are an entrepreneur, if you as an entrepreneur cannot sell, if you as an entrepreneur cannot pitch, if you as an entrepreneur cannot communicate, you do not have a business, my friends. So no matter what other people say to you, no matter what other people tell you, learn how to sell. Because if you cannot sell your business, who else will, right? You as a founder, it's not your job, but rather a duty or a responsibility to make sure you bring in sales and also one thing very very important if you're listening to me tonight the money that you get from the customer on sales is the cheapest money the most expensive money that you get for your business is the money you get from investor on equity every penny you bring in the company every money you bring in the company has a cost right and if you are able to get money from the customer, recurring money from the customer, that is the cheapest money that will not only help you to sustain, but scale. And sales is the fundamental for all of those things, right? Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me tonight. I hope this was valuable. I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for all the love and supporting me. We touched 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. And hope that I'm able to provide a lot more value to all of you. Have a great weekend, folks. Good night, and I will see you next Saturday on episode number 29. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I'm Dilnamaz Khan signing off on this episode of AMVDNK. Thank you so much. See you soon.